be doing a soft spoken video today since I'm in my car and I don't have my equipment. I'm actually on my lunch break right now at work, but I figured that I would go ahead and read from the 52 week Bible. And we're on week three. Everything is purposeful. In the second chapter of Exodus, we find the story of the birth of Moses. Pharaoh had issued a decree that all Israelite males be put to death as soon as they were born. Moses' mother wanted to do what any loving mother would do and save her son. She wrapped him up, put him in a basket made of bulrushes, and strategically placed him in the river so he'd end up in the right hands. That day, Pharaoh's daughter was bathing in those same waters and sent her maid to retrieve the basket she saw floating in the reeds. She felt sorry for the child, correctly assuming he was one of the Hebrew babies. Moses' sister Miriam, who had been watching from a distance, stepped forward and volunteered to fetch Moses' mother to nurse this unknown baby. Pharaoh's daughter agreed. Now Moses' mother got to experience a full circle moment. I'm sure letting him go was the most painful thing she ever had to do, but in order to save him, she had to release him. There was a definite purpose for Moses' life, and because of that purpose, God protected him put the right people in place, and without a doubt, directed all of their paths. What are the odds that this child would be let go of, found, and brought back to the bosom of his very own mother? What are the odds that, having been drawn out of the water, Moses would deliver so many other children through a wall of water years later? Talking about whenever he parted the Red Sea. It is certain that when God has a purpose for your life, it does not matter what the odds are. He places all the right pieces and people together to bring that purpose to fruition. Amen. If you are a mother, teacher, nurse, mentor, social worker, or simply someone who loves people in general, God has strategically put you in place to put to help bring forth purpose in the lives of others. The kind words you give, the love and advice you offer, and even that strong word of connection are meaningful and purposeful in the development of someone's life. So never underestimate your influence in the lives of others. Never think that you're not needed or that what you have to say doesn't matter. It is all part of God's plan to help us all reach our purpose in life. Amen. You know, sometimes we don't know what God's plans are for us in the future, but we know one thing for sure is that it's plans to prosper us and not to harm us and not to hurt us. His ways are always better than our ways. So let's just follow in the footsteps of Jesus and we go wherever he, his Holy Spirit guides us. And we all have a purpose on this earth. Everybody was born for a reason. Sometimes we might not know it now. We might not know it 10 years from now. But one day eventually we do know what our purpose is. And we're to always be like Jesus. So, going back to what we just read about how Moses' mother had to let go of him so that he could um, save other people. Like so He helped, through God, he helped to save the Israelites from their slavery. And it's just like Mary, Jesus' mother, she had to let go of Jesus. And I'm sure that it was very painful for her. Like any mother, it would be painful. Or for any parents to let go of their child. But there's always a greater purpose. And, you know, Jesus did way more than Moses did. You know, he died for our sins. 
So, you know, sometimes we just have to let go and let God, because He's the only one that's in control of our lives. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to realize that the Holy Spirit will help us through it. He will guide our steps. So, here are some points to ponder. Number one, do you know what your purpose in life is? Number two, can you name a time when you knew your purpose was to help someone else complete their purpose? And how did you help them? Number three, sometimes fear can hinder us from stepping forward to help others. Can you remember a time when you didn't step forward to help someone with their purpose? What was the hindrance? What should you have done? You know, sometimes we're afraid to speak up whenever God tells us to go and say something to somebody. But we got to remember that in that moment, we're, we should be bold. We should pray for boldness from God. And He will, it's not us that's doing the talking. It's the Holy Spirit through us that's doing the talking. So really, you know, God, all, God gave everybody a voice. And we're to use that voice for His glory and to help bring people to Him so that they can be a child of God and enter into the kingdom of heaven and be with God forever and ever. So, have you ever thought that maybe you may be the very one to help save your fellow brothers and sisters out there in the world? We need to be just having the fire and the boldness, including myself, because I have in the past and sometimes I still do struggle with bringing the word to somebody if God tells me to do something. But we don't need to be grieving the Holy Spirit. We need to always act on whatever God tells us to do and we'll be rewarded and blessed for it greatly. So, the next page says, this is my prayer. Dear Lord, it is my desire to please you in all of my ways. Help me always be a light and a positive role model in the lives of the people I encounter this week. I know that you have a purpose and plan for each of us. It is my prayer that you will help me daily trust in you with all of my heart. And to lean not on my own understanding. But in all of my ways, I am trusting you to direct my path. And that comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Amen. So, that was week 3's reading. And the daily readings, if you want to follow along. Um, on day 1, we read Genesis chapter 47 through 50. Day 2. Exodus chapter 1 through 3. Day 3 is Exodus chapter 4 through 7. Day 4 is Exodus chapter 8 through 11. Day 5 is Exodus chapter 12 through 15. Day 6 is Exodus chapter 16 through 18. And then day 7 is a day of rest or to catch up on any readings that you've missed. And this will help you get through the Bible in one year. So, as always, I hope that you found a blessing in this video. And that you have a blessed night and a blessed day and a blessed week ahead of you. And to be a blessing to others.